And the myth is tetraploid perennial ryegrasses is o are only for feeding cows. Here we have they usually mean wet grass. Get down on your feet. I learned that a long time ago. Get down on your feet. I learned that a long time ago. Here we are standing on um, tetraploid perennial ryegrasses. And most of the perennial ryegrasses you buy on the market are diploids. That means they have one set of chromosomes. Tetraploids have two sets of chromosomes. That means they have four of every chromosome that exists in perennial ryegrasses. And many years ago, these tetraploid perennial ryegrasses were developed for forage uses. And because they tended to be bigger, they were more robust, um, often cattle preferred them. Um, but over years, people noticed they had certain other advantages. It's like they were more winter hardy, they germinated faster because they had bigger seed, they germinated under with colder soil temperatures. So people started thinking about what could we do if we develop these for um, for turf types. So uh, many years of, of work went into developing tetraploid perennial ryegrasses for turf. And so what do they do for you that's different than the diploid perennial ryegrass? Well, they mimic some of the same things that have been involved or seen in forages. One was they came up at lower soil temperatures than the diploid perennial ryegrass. So they could be used and seeded earlier or later in the season than even regular perennial ryegrass. The other thing was they tended to have a deeper crown and so they would actually survive better and they had more winter hardiness and um, they tended to be more drought tolerant. The species almost existed in the area in between the performance of diploid perennial ryegrass and turf type tall fescues. The other thing is we use these over many years. We noticed they were very wear tolerant, again partially due to that deeper crown and they recovered well from wear but they were also not quite as dense as the diploid perennial ryegrasses. Well, this actually turns out to be an advantage because they don't over dominate the stand as easily as the diploid perennial ryegrasses. So if you plant them with turf type tall fescues or with Kentucky bluegrass, they don't become rapidly just ryegrass. They leave room in the canopy for the other species of grass. And so often when we trial these things, we put them in um, plots just by themselves and you lose some of the advantage of this species and the advantage of it is how well it plays with other species of grass. So tetraploid perennial ryegrasses, myth is busted. They are not only for feeding cows, they're for superior turf and they add a lot of advantages to your turf stand. For more information about our cultivars and management, visit our websites at sroc.com and dlfpixseed.com. Click here to subscribe. Click here to see more myths.